Not all unboxings I do are super high tech. This one, for example, is a bit lower tech, but it's still a level of high tech. This is something that I purchased off of Kickstarter. I'm not a paid spokesperson for this company, nor am I being compensated in any way, shape or form for the content or review of this product on my channel. Without further ado, let's get unboxing. This project was successfully funded back in February of 2017. I backed it, I believe, sometime in October, November uh, when this had just first launched. And I am very excited to say that it came in on time, mostly from Kickstarter. I think it might have been maybe a month late, but not, again, not a really big deal. So without further ado, let's start opening things. I'm going, this came in one single box, which I already opened. But I took out the one, two, three, four, five smaller boxes inside of the main box. I'll start with the smaller items and move up to the bigger items. So here we go. This first item is going to be the Stag Pour Over Dripper. I probably should go ahead and tell you what the item is. The item is a, it's called the Stag EKG. It's an electric kettle. Uh, a kettle that you would use for making hot tea, hot coffee, hot cocoa ramen cup of noodle whatever it is you're into and i bought the whole kit now this is gonna be a little bit different when i get into the actual unit i'm not going to spoil it for you right now but when i get to the actual unit this is gonna be a little bit different than your normal ordinary kettle anyway back to this this is the pour over dripper i'll go ahead and open this guy up for you and again packaging is outstanding on this item and whoa this thing is really slippery it's not, yeah, okay. Uh, and there's some instructions here on the pour over dripper, how this is to be used, how quickly you pour over the hot water onto your coffee grounds or to your tea. Again, very nice boxing, box within a box. Nice job on this. I'll save my informational packet over here to make sure I read thoroughly. And this, Item here, very nice. Looks like it's an anodized metal, probably aluminum uh, dripper item here. Removable base here. And filter pack. That will go on the side for now. Next item is going to be, I'm not going to open this one, but this is the pour over filters. What this basically is, is a whole lot more of these filters in this box. Again, nice job on the packaging. And what's really neat is they their the branding stays fairly consistent throughout their products, talking about how to put the water in. Blooming is the key when you pour the hot water over the coffee, uh, ground coffee, let it bloom, let it kind of mature, and then add more water to get the full flavor of the coffee. And again, this is just gonna be a larger box of filters, much like those guys right there. Like I said, I'll keep this box for now so I don't crush and smush them. Next is going to be this box, and this is going to be what they call tasting glasses. Um, they have a flared lip, double side wall, uh, they're hand-blown glass, uh, nice units, again, from Stag, and Stag is a company that, uh, that I bought this through. And again, some really, really dynamic packaging here. It's just a beautiful packaging, very nicely done, very artistic, but not over the top. And here are my two hand-blown glass vessels and a very protective piece of cardboard. Each individual has each individual cup had its own little carrying area. The cups would never touch each other and all of the edges and everything are still intact. Very happy about the safe arrival of these guys. Again, put this to the side for cleaning and later use. Now, into the sealed box as we go. This is going to be the carafe, and I'm opening these things very carefully. I'm only using a small chunk of the knife to open these boxes because I don't want to cut into anything that might be of value to me in here. And what we have here is a box within a box. And this is gonna be the, the Stag double wall glass carafe. We're gonna have a silicone lid, 
hand blown glass and double wall for insulation value on that. Again, with the nice graphics and everything looks really nice and clean on, on the unit. Here is the glass carafe. Again, with some outstanding packaging. Um, a double wall down here and reinforcements at the top to keep this little guy super safe in its transit from China to here. A lot of stuff comes from China. And this is the nice carafe. It has a nice weight to it. Like I said before, a silicone lid, which is nice and malleable, easy to keep clean. Some instructions in here on care and maintenance. And again, it's maybe a little bit hard to tell, but this is a double line, double walled, glass insulated carafe, which means it'll keep the coffee or tea nice and warm and hot inside, but you can still be able to grab it without burning your fingers. Really, really, really well thought out. So nice job on that. Put this on the side. And now for the Coupe de Ville. Again, opening just with the tip of the knife to ensure I don't cut too far into the packaging. We have the actual Stag EKG, electronic kettle. Again, a box within a box. And this is going to be it. That's how the kettle's gonna look. You have the handle, the kettle body, the pour spout, and the base. What makes this a little bit unique is we have a base where I can set a temperature here um, up to like 100 and 200 degrees Fahrenheit. It's got a 1200 watt heater, and it's also got a 60 minute hold time, which means I can set my set the water to go to a certain temperature, let's say 180 degrees Fahrenheit. I can set it there, I'll have a hold function for an hour, which means if I want to have a cup of tea or a cup of coffee now, but a little bit later on when I have another one, or my wife or kids want something, instead of having to reheat the water up, either in a kettle or in another water uh, heating vessel or microwave, um, this will keep your water at a temperature that you choose for 60 minutes. That's pretty spiffy. LCD display on this guy, and the water capacity on this is one liter. Uh, this is kind of a sneak preview of the side of the unit. And there it is pouring into, into this guy right here. Let's open this guy. Let's open this up now. Again, spectacular graphics. They did a great job on these panels and lids. Very nice artwork, very simple. Nice line drawings, some color, really well done. Open this up. Here's the feature and brew, and brew guide on how you wanna brew different items. And of course, some safety and other items there. We'll put that here on this for the time being. I'm already loving this because they're gonna use this reclaimed cardboard here, which has been formed into a protective container. Three prong plug here for US plugs. And let's see what we have here. This will be the base. And this will be the kettle. And again, with the nice inside cardboard packaging to keep everything safe and secure in its Trans-Pacific portation. Here's the base plate here, 110, maybe about a two foot-ish cord at the bottom. Um, it's going to have, this is actually, this, this dial right here is going to be your temperature set. You have an LCD screen here, which will tell you what your set temperatures are. I'll take that little guy off. And then you have your on off here. And this is a ratcheted dial. Um, it's an infinite ratchet. It just spins and spins. But what you can do is use that to dial in your temperature here for your, uh, container. There seems to be some switches in the back here. Yes, in the back, there's a C for Celsius and F for Fahrenheit. I'm a Neanderthal. We'll put this over to uh, we'll put this over to Fahrenheit. And here is your hold button, non-hold button. 
If you want to hold it at a temperature for that one hour, you flick it to hold, dial in your temperature, it'll hold there for an hour. This little beauty is the actual pot. There we go. The lid is wrapped separately. Interesting but nice touch. All right, this is a very, very delicate but really looking well made device. The pour spout is very small and petite, but I think it's going to enable you to really get a very precise pour when you're pouring your coffee, when you're when you're setting up like this to pour your coffee or tea, it's going to give you a nice precise pour. There's a little informational packet in here or a flyer in here about overfilling and I'm assuming there's gonna be a fill line. Yeah, I'm on the back. It's probably gonna be hard to see but along the back here there's a max fill line here um, a little over an inch inside a little bit of an inch down from this level. It's approximately the center point of this guy is your max fill. That's gonna be your leader. This will fit onto the base like so it does kind of click on there and you would dial in and turn on and do all these kind of good fun things with it um interesting on that and then we have the lid which is vented lid so it won't blow off if you overheat your vessel uh, all in all a really neat package i like the the matte black finish of the kettle, the simplicity of the design. It's just simple yet elegant, uh, easy to grab. It keeps your hand a very safe distance from the hot liquids in this uh, container. Uh, really well done on the spout. And it's going to be kind of tough to see, but the spout has got a very nice um, uh, crease in it, allowing you to make a very precise pour and not have it just come blurting out of the end of this. Uh, very excited to plug it in and give this cat a try. As it's late in the day on a Friday, I'm probably not going to brew up a pot of coffee now, but I will try to brew up some coffee. Once I have a couple of cycles of the coffee done, I'll be sure to film one for you. As always, thanks for being here. Please make sure you like and subscribe. And if you have any questions for me on this unit or anything else I have reviewed over the past several weeks, please let me know. Other than that, Thanks very much and have a great evening. Bye.